guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be looking at the scenario of Romania from an Empire. I know I did this before, but this time it's gonna be different because last time I didn't really do Romania uh, that I didn't really give Romania that much land. But now we're serious. We're actually gonna make a big empire. So uh, yeah, let's just jump right into it. This uh, empire is gonna. I'm not gonna be color Romania red because not. Um, they're not gonna attack every single country because uh, such as like this scenario where we have Romania uh, why do I color Russia in red well this scenario is gonna um, be the future or no not the future we're gonna continue uh, the Russian invasion of Ukraine because uh, let me like how much land does Russia have from Ukraine I'm just gonna do like really quick guess uh let's say of this wait of this maybe i don't even know but let's just say they push in and capture all of this yeah that's got to be about right anyways belarus joins this war obviously and Romania does something they don't join the war on uh, bulgaria uh, on bulgaria Ukraine side they want to take Moldova but Transnistria Transnistria breaks away from Moldova and that kind of leads them into the war and they also start a smaller push into Ukraine now you uh, um, Romanian Russian forces start to push even more into Ukraine over here because they want to connect with Transnistria and eventually they encircle Odessa in this area but some Romanian troops do arrive and they push back. And now at this point, every country that hates Russia joins this war. Georgia, or no, everybody hates Russia, kind of. But a lot of countries that border Russia join the war. Uh, the Baltic states, Finland, Poland, and Georgia. Yeah, pretty much all of their, pretty much all of their neighboring countries in Europe. Uh, Romanian troops do, do push back and reconnect to Odessa and uh, now we have Transnistria not being a thing anymore. We also have Polish and uh, Lithuanian troops and even Ukrainian troops starting their own push into Belarus. We also have Finnish troops starting their own push into Russia. And we also have Georgia kind of falling because yeah you know why so now russia sends all of their military over here because uh, they know that it's not looking good for them eventually they ha take half of ukraine but that's pretty much it as now romanian forces say okay ukraine here we will continue the war but you'll give us uh this part which used to be romanian and ukraine agrees and also this part and ukraine agrees because it's not like they need, but they want to. Okay, so now more Polish troops. Um, and now we have Belarus not being, it's not looking good for them. Uh, but Russia tries to like save Belarus. They send a lot of their troops over here um, just so that they can recapture Belarus. And this goes successful at first, they push back. But uh, the blue team sets up a plan. They will send a lot of the troops over here and then circle the Russian troops and take all of them. So uh, they start to do that. They uh, send a lot of the troops and they almost do that. But it, it seen, it's seen that Russian uh, doesn't care and they really the troops really do things. But the plan is um, complete. They encircled and that's not good for Russia because now they're falling from all sides. And they try to reconnect with it, but it's not really working. So eventually we have uh, the, this part falling. That's a really big blow to Russia. But something good for them is the blue team really didn't really, uh, they weren't really focusing on Ukraine. And uh, except for Ukrainian and Romanian troops and they push back. And no, n not they push back. And Russia pushes a lot into Ukraine as now they're sending all of their military. They do the same in Georgia. Eventually, after they take off the country, they move their troops up. 
Uh, over here uh, in Finland, uh, Finland uh, makes some landings into Estonia and now they're sending troops from Estonia into Russia because they want to take St. Petersburg and they encircle the city. Eventually, Finland takes off their froze, those frozen lands and um, yeah. It's not looking good for Russia because now St. Petersburg might be captured. So they immediately send their troops over here and they start to push back. I forgot to change the color of the ocean. Sorry, but let's continue. So we have uh, this being pretty much a world war and Russia already is exhausted and they kind of need to sign peace. Uh, the situation in Belarus is not going well. They pretty much lost all, their all the country. Kaliningrad is taken and it's not looking really good for them. But they still have Ukraine and Georgia, right? Well, now um, Ukrainian troops and the blue team troops really push back and really want focus on Ukraine for now. Um... Eventually, we have Russia recapturing, uh, reconnecting to St. Petersburg and pushing back Finland. Uh, yeah, they start. They uh, they try to take back Belarus, but it doesn't work, and they get pushed back. Eventually, uh, we see a push into Crimea being started, taking over the peninsula. And now the blue team really focuses on Ukraine as they want to take uh, the back the um, whole country. They want to push back. And they push back. And now they do one more thing before they recapture Ukraine. They make a landing in Georgia over here and they start to liberate Georgia as well. That d does work well but eventually a stalemate is, is created. Um, a lot of uh, Russian troops now retreat into the Donbass area and stuff because, um, yeah, and Ukraine even starts their own push over there. And uh, let's just say that, yeah, now um, Ukraine really pushed back. And now Russia wants peace. They lost a lot of land. Let's not lose any more land. That's what Russia kind of says. Uh, in this timeline, Russia doesn't really have a president anymore, so yeah. They make a peace deal and they accept uh, Russia taking this part of uh, Georgia and... Yeah, here's the peace treaty. And this is the peace treaty. We have Romania becoming Greater Romania. Georgia becoming... Well, losing land. Ukraine becoming Greater Ukraine. Poland becoming... Bigger Poland. Lithuania becoming Greater Lithuania, Finland becoming Greater Finland, and uh, Russia becoming... Oh my gosh, help. Uh, no, that, sorry, that was a bad joke. And now, after this final war, let's... Now we can uh, focus on Romania, finally. Okay. So, uh, focusing on Romania. They, um, they declare war on Bulgaria. They do that. Hungary joins, uh, Serbia joins, and Serbia joins the war on the red side. North Macedonia on the red side, as well as Greece. Well, no, Greece joins on the blue side, sorry. Um, and Turkey is like, do I join, do I not join? And they decide, um, you know what? And they decide, you know what? Screw it, we will join on the red side. And Cyprus on the blue side. Okay. Now, uh, do you want to know a thing? Romania and Greece kind of have planned a secret thing that, uh, hey, let's not fight. And after I annex Bulgaria, we we'll, are gonna just invade Turkey, so... They're not really at war, but they are, if you know what I mean. Kosovo, blue team, Albania, blue team, and uh, that's it. So now we're uh, Balkan War, pretty much. Okay. Uh, Romanian troops push into Bulgaria, as well as Serbian troops. 
and um, Bulgaria falls after only seven hours. And a push into Greece is being started. But not by Romanian troops. This is Turkey. Serbia obliterates Kosovo. Albania surrenders. Uh, Hungary becomes dead. And Greece is alone. Uh, Cyprus becomes dead. And Greece, uh, with the help of maybe some Romanian troops, push back. Recapture Cyprus, and uh, yeah, now that's it. Let's take a look at the peace treaty because the war between those countries ended. So let's take a look at the peace treaty. And this is the peace treaty: Romania annexes Bulgaria, uh, North Macedonia gets a little bit of Bulgaria, uh, Romania takes a little, a little bit of Hungary, and that's it. Yeah. Okay. Now uh, let's take a look at this war. Uh, Turkey, you're my ally, right? Uh, not anymore, come on. <laughs> bye bye. And uh, now Turkey is gonna. Let's play a game of Turkey dying. We have this part being obliterated. Or, okay. Not let's play a game Turkey of Turkey dying because Turkey is really strong. So uh, they would uh, push back, right? Well, yeah. But eventually the peace treaty comes and uh, let's just say that they lost that, yeah. And Romania says, you know what, screw it, but um, let's take the coast because they want that as well. So they make a landing, capture Istanbul and now start to make a lot of landings over here, capturing the coast of Turkey. Georgia decides, you know what, that war is about to end, why not join? I mean, it's not like I don't need land. Azerbaijan joined the war a lot of time, uh, uh, and Armenia joined. Uh, Azerbaijan was in the war a lot of times, uh, like some days ago. It's been a he Azerbaijan has been a lot. Uh, okay, sorry, I can't talk. I can't talk. Azerbaijan has been in this war for a lot of time, but I forgot to color them. So yeah, and now um, we have uh, Georgia helping out Romania a little bit and starting to liberate Armenia. Azerbaijan says, okay, Georgia, not do not fight, but Ar uh, Armenia is mine. And Georgia says, okay, fine. So now we have, um, we have this. And now let's take a look at the peace treaty because this is finished. And this is the peace treaty. So, kind of Greece, Georgia, and Romania unite and form this, like, country. Uh, it's called Romanian... Gorgia. Yeah, Romanian Gorgia, sure. They got this co the coast of um, Turkey, and that's pretty much it. Now, we have Ukraine joining this. Uh, you no, know, yeah, kind of joining this. And now it's called R G G U R G G U. Sure, I mean or R G U G R G no R G G U. Yeah, it's called R G G U. Uh, I don't know why, but it's called that. Eventually, oh, I forgot to do a piece with you over here. Well, um, well, okay, that's better. Um, you know what, guys. Azerbaijan joins joins this uh, thing. They join this thing um, once again, and now the country is, uh, his name is changed. Um, it's called the United States of the Black Sea. Yeah, but that's the name. We also have a lot of countries joining this now. We have North Macedonia joining. We also have uh, Serbia doesn't really want to join. We also have Slovakia joining just because, you know, why not? It's a pretty powerful country. And now, this is a thing. We kind of have um, them doing something. They decide, okay, we're powerful. Turkey, you either join us or die. And Turkey decides to be smart and join them. So now, um, Turkey is part of... Um, the United States 
of the Black Sea. Yeah, that's a thing now. And um, we have um, the United States of the Black Sea doing something here. They want to actually have access to all of the Black Sea. And they uh, need to do something that is going to be big, but they need to do it to have that. And that is declare war on Russia. Um, Belarus joins this war, obviously. But Finland doesn't join the war. Uh uh. No, they don't. I forgot to make a border over here. Sorry. This time, the other countries don't join the war because Romania is kind of the attacker. So, uh, the other countries don't join the war. Uh, we have, uh, but we have Russia having some allies. Their first ally is Serbia, and uh, that. Sorry, what is happening? And uh, that's a pretty huge problem. They shouldn't have joined Austria, uh, Austria, Hungary, because they want lands back. And yeah, that's it. So um, let's play a game. Russia gets obliterated, and I say that because. Specialized troops enter and capture what they wanted and now they decide you know what let's take w What uh, we need so eventually they take what they need and now Russia wants peace because they see that they uh, don't have a chance Okay, I forgot to say Romania was buffed for this video So uh, yeah, but this is pretty strong already probably stronger than Russia at this point after uh, Russia's loss they didn't really do anything it, and they didn't it didn't look good for them so uh, yeah and with Serbia and Hungary not anymore yeah and now let's take a look at another peace treaty and this is the peace treaty we have the United States of the Black Sea taking a lot of Russia Serbia and Hungary are our next, and Montenegro joins the United States of the Black Sea. We also have uh, all of the Balkans joining the United States of the Black Sea at this point. And the United States of the Black Sea, uh, what is the short name? U.S. Um, USB. USBC. USBC. Okay, the USBC, uh, yeah, takes all of the Balkans, and uh, we also have Austria joining. If you're wondering why I'm using this instead of like other things, it's not working with other things. So yeah, Austria and Czechia join this. We also have Poland joining this, as well as the Baltic states, and. Uh, it is seen that it's not called the USBC anymore. Now it's more like a, a Eastern Europe, and that's the name, Eastern Europe. Okay, and that is it. Eastern Europe, the biggest country in the world, I think, at this point, or Russia might be bigger. I don't know. The biggest country in Europe, though, bigger than the entire West, and uh, yeah. This isn't really a Romanian Empire, but it started as a Romanian Empire because it started with Romania, Moldova, Greater Romania, then Romania, Greece, then more countries joined. So it's probably its origin is Romania, but it's not entirely Romania, you know. So, yeah, in the future, we might see this becoming United Europe. Because uh, the Western, I, at this point, I think the West is a country as well, and they might unite and create United Europe. Then Russia might collapse soon because they, what do they have? Moscow, and that's it. Then ice. So they are, are gonna join, and then and then they're gonna be like the power, most powerful country in the world. And yeah. So yeah, so much rushing. I know this was a longer video, but you guys know why. And yeah. Sure, I will see you next time. I can't even talk after this. Bye-bye.